Unium. <laughs> right. Step, Step morning. morning. What's happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's, we don't have enough panda stories on this programme, do we? No. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me tell you what's going on in the business world. All, all the papers are talking about the Talk Talk story, so I'm going to pick up on a few others that are out this morning. Morning, everybody. Uh, the Daily Telegraph has a story about wages and the fact that now that people are starting to see their wages increase, they are paying off things such as their credit card debts uh, rather than relying on plastic for their shopping. So in other words, uh, you know, bringing down a bit of the debt rather than spending, uh, which is, of course, uh, good news in terms of bringing down the debt, but our economy is very reliant on consumer spending. So it's good and bad news in that sense. Now, this is an interesting story. It's about a car park in High Wycombe, which is made of a concrete that absorbs water. It's called thirsty concrete, and it can swallow thousands of litres of water in a minute. Um, in order to um, basically stop flooding in car parks so when it's raining, that area of the car park won't be uh, very flooded, which is quite interesting in the saying that this is the type of surface they're trialling now to see whether that could help areas and stop the causes of flash flooding, uh, which I thought was quite a good engineering story for you. And um, about there's a story in the, which probably in the Times there, which is about bank security, and it's saying... One idea is to have um, cash machines look you in the eye before they give you, give you the cash so that they can scan your eyeballs and to check that you really are the customer who uh, wants to get their cash out. Do you think and... that's a good idea? Oh, you two are terrible <laughs> this morning. It's, this is... it's infectious. Can I tell you one of the stories just because it made me laugh so much this morning? <laughs> a woman was thrown out of the theatre after she sang along too loudly and badly during a performance of the musical The Bodyguard. Yeah. I love oh, that because the bodyguard, everyone knows all the songs. Yeah. You can just imagine it. Because I. Yep, yeah, thanks, Steph. See you later. All right. <laughs> 19 minutes past six.